On December 8, 2020, the U.S. Department of Treasury, uh, specifically speaking, the Office of Foreign Assets Control in this department, announced that they are going to take actions against Al Mustafa International University of Iran. What they claimed was that this university is actually facilitating the recruitment efforts of IRGC Quds Force. If you read the text of uh, official website published uh, regarding this actions being taken against Al Mustafa International University, you will find out that three main allegations has been mentioned against Al Mustafa International University. The first one, they claim that the students of this university are involved in intelligence processes, intelligence activities, and providing information and intelligence for IRGC. Second thing that they mentioned was that this university is actually facilitating and recruiting its students for IRGC Quds Force activities overseas. Specifically speaking, uh, they mentioned the case of Syria. And the third issue that was mentioned in this text was indoctrinating the students and indoctrinating the foreign sources. The first point that I want to uh, mention is related to the Syrian war and the Syrian crisis. Of course, this has been mentioned again and again, but let's not forget what's going on in Syria. And let's not forget if Iran and Iranians were not involved in the Syrian crisis, what was going to take place in this region? They involved there to stop this process of regime change one by one that was being conducted by the Americans and their followers, their Western followers at our region. This is what they did to Libya. This is what they were trying to do with other countries as well. Uh, but uh, Alhamdulillah, Iran was able to stop their plan and plot in Syria. So the presence of the Quds forces there, the presence of the Iranian IRGC there, was actually a part of the uh, Iranian strategy to defend the access of resistance in Syria, which was actually successful. We are not happy with what's going on in Syria. But what Iran did, as it was mentioned, was a choice between worse and worst. Because if Iran was not involved in the Syrian crisis, the geography of the West Asian region was for sure changed based on the wishes and the wills of the Americans and the Zionists. So the presence of the Fatimian forces or the presence of the Zainabian forces over there was based on that. And let's not forget that they were indigenous Pakistani, indigenous Afghani movements amid the crisis in Syria. Yes, Iran helped them, Iran organized them, no doubt about that. But the question is that what all this story has to do with International University of Al Mustafa? Al Mustafa International University has tens of thousands of foreign students studying in Al Mustafa University or those who have been graduated from Al Mustafa International University. And let's count the numbers of those who were students of Al Mustafa University and later on they joined the Fatimian forces or they joined the Zainabian forces. How many are they? I don't know the numbers, but I know that they are not more than few tens of the numbers. Main forces of the Zainabian were from Pakistan. They came from Pakistan, they were from Pakistan, and the main forces of the Fatimian were also from those non-students, those who were not the students of Al Mustafa, and they were Afghani. Either they were those Afghani refugees living inside Syria, or those Afghanis living in Iran, or those Afghanis who were from Afghanistan itself, who came from Afghanistan itself. So how you want to connect all this story of uh, the uh, Fatimiyun Zain, and, and Zainabiyun to what Al Mustafa is doing? If Al Mustafa was intending to recruit its students for fighting in Syria, so the numbers were totally different. Numbers were not being, you know, compared to what's currently in the, in, in, in the field. So there has never ever been any idea of recruiting the students of Al Mustafa for what's going on in Syria. Of course, anyone who joined those uh, people uh, from Fatimiyun or from Zainabiyun, they joined by their own wish and by their own decision without any force. So now the question is that, 
why Americans are now targeting Iranian Al Mustafa International University. I don't believe that what they say about the involvement of the uh, you know, Al Mustafa International University with the crisis going on in Syria is something logical. They're, even they know that, that there, there is not even enough evidences on the ground to prove that Al Mustafa International University have, ha, has recruited the students, its students, for the crisis inside Syria, for what's going on in Syria. But there is something really important uh, that it's related to the bigger image, the bigger portrait of the Iran-America conflict. This conflict, this crisis between Iran and the United States of America has different dimensions. The reality is that as soon as Americans got to know that Iran is gaining power at the region, they tried, they tried to stop it. They tried, they tried to put their pressure to prevent Iran from gaining power at the region. And Iranian power is actually divided in two main categories. One part of the Iranian power is actually the hard power of Iran, the power related to Iranian military, Iranian political system, Iranian technology advancements, and all those, you know, hard sorts of the power. But Iran has a soft power as well. The cultural power of Iran, the human resources that uh, believe in what Iran is believing in the region and uh, across the region actually, are actually the soft power of Iran. So the United States of America decided to stop Iran from gaining power, either hard power or soft power. So when United States of America imposed sanctions on Iran, economic sanctions on Iran, sanctions on Iranian military activities, sanctions on Iranian ballistic missile system, sanctions on any banking activities of Iran, these were all to stop Iran from gaining power. When U.S. supported actually on the ground the assassination of the Iranian scientists, it was actually to prevent Iran from gaining, uh, you know, strategic powers in technology field. So the same process is going on related to Al Mustafa International University because Americans know and everyone knows that one of those factors that is bringing uh, forth the Iranian power at the region is Al Mustafa International University. At the end, those who are coming to this university are typically those loyal to the idea of Islamic revolution of Iran. They are coming here, there is no recruitment process, people are here coming and studying, and they are naturally being affected by the revolutionary idea inside Iran. And this is the reality that Americans are afraid of. Because they know that when tens of thousands of students are being graduated from Al Mustafa International University, going back to the homeland from Africa to Europe to uh, Asian countries and also to America itself, they, their ideology, their thinking, their way of looking, their perspectives is against what Americans are doing. So naturally, Americans should try to stop Al Mustafa International University as one of those soft power factors of Iran. This is, from my perspective, the real story behind the new decision of the U.S. Uh, Department of the Treasury to uh, put sanctions on Al Mustafa International University. The, of all the stories of recruitment of the forces to Syrian crisis, to, uh, um, to, to, to misuse them, so-called misuse them, you know, indoctrinate them in, uh, and brainwashing them for, for going to Syria or you know, blaming the Al Mustafa University students for collecting information and helping the intelligence service of Iran, these are all bullshit from my perspective. They know what they are doing and they know what Al Mustafa University is doing. Al Mustafa University is a university with you know, hundreds of branches across Iran and also abroad, an official university uh, working in Iran under the supervision of the Iranian higher education ministry the graduated students of Al Mustafa University are back to your home from years back and they are active in the fields of culture. Yes, no doubt, typically speaking, those who are being graduated from this university are against the American policies at the region and across the region and that's what Americans are afraid of. Thank you for watching, listening and following me. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to be tuned up with the latest updates and latest analysis I'm bringing forth for you.